Hello everybody. In this video we'll cover the subject of design unit of reinforced concrete wall element. This option is introduced for the first time in version 2018 of STRAP. In any wall section that is defined with more than one segment, connected segments can be defined as a design unit. Different design units can be defined for moment and for shear. Let's see an example from the model on the screen. We'll select wall section number two. The button design units will allow the user to access the design units definitions. The design units are presented by pink arrows drawn on top of the wall section. As default, Strap will combine a series of segments along a straight line and define them as a design unit. We can toggle between the definition of moment or shear design units. Let's define a moment design unit. On the right side, we can see all the option to combine or separate segments. We'll select to combine several segments and select the segments individually. The left shaft is now defined as a moment design unit. Now we'll select combine segment and select all segments within a window. Shear design units can be defined by combining connected segments along a line. We will leave the default definition. Now let's ask to see wall numbers. We can see that the program displays each design unit with a letter W2A and W2B. Now we'll go back to the wall section definitions and define a moment design unit from all of the wall's segments. Select Combine, select Window, and include all the segments in the selection window. We can see that all of the wall segments are now numbered W2A. To display the local axis of the design unit, go to Display, Local Axis, and check Display Local Axis for design units. The local axis of the entire wall section is also available. When displaying the design unit's local axis, X direction is always along the wall and Y direction is perpendicular. Let's also display the local axis of the entire wall. The display location is along the wall's reference corner. Now let's solve the model and analyze the results. We'll display only wall number 2. In the results module, we can see the local axis directions for the design unit and for the entire wall. Now we'll display the wall's result. Under result type, we can see moment in X direction and moment in Y direction. We'll select moment in the X direction. The results at option allows the user to display the results for the design units or for the entire wall section. In this example, the design unit is equal to the entire wall. We'll display the design unit moment in the X direction from load combination number one. We can see the moment in X direction diagram for the design unit.
let's see the moment in the y direction. Now we'll select the display moment in the y direction for the entire wall. We can see the results relative to the local axis of the entire wall. When displaying a table of the wall results, we can see the results for design unit A. We can see the moment in the x direction, axial force, and moment in the y direction. For shear results, Sx shear in the x direction and Sy shear in the y direction and the axial force for the shear design of every shear design unit. Let's see the graphic display of shear in the x direction of the entire wall. And for every shear design unit. After reviewing the analysis results, we can go on to concrete post-processor for design. In concrete's main menu, select walls and let's set the default parameters. A feature that was added to version 2018 is the number of diameters in a design unit. One diameter, the program will use a single diameter for all the bars in the design unit. Two diameters, the program will use one diameter for the concentrated reinforcement and a second diameter for the distributed reinforcement multiple diameters. The program will use one diameter for the concentrated reinforcement and multiple diameters for the distributed reinforcement. For this example we'll select two diameters and compute wall number two. We can see the result summary table. The results are for wall number two. We can see all of the wall's segments, the length, and the thickness for every segment. The slant column will display the minor axis slenderness value for the moment design unit. The P column represents the axial force for the design unit. MX and MY are the moments in both directions of the design unit. For every shear design unit, we can see the shear force and the axial force. The shear force is represented by the letter V and the axial force is represented by the letter P. We can see six results for six shear design units. Under reinforcement, we can see the results of the distributed and the concentrated reinforcement of every segment of the wall. Now we'll display the detailed results. On top we see the wall section. Below we can see the results for every design unit. The design unit display will be rotated according to the X local axis horizontally and the Y local axis vertically. The program will assign a letter index at every segment and a number index for each segment. We can see the results for the distributed reinforcement with respect to the number index. For example, for index number 5, we can see a total of 34 bars, 17 at each face. The bar diameter is 10 millimeter, 
and the spacing is 20 centimeters. And the concentrated reinforcement results with respect to the letter index. For the index letter G, we can see the concentrated reinforcement of six bars with a diameter of 16 millimeters. Lx equals the horizontal distance between the first and the last bars, and Ly is the vertical distance between the bar layers. Below, we can see the shear design results for every shear design unit. For example, we'll look at the shear design unit between A and H. V equals the shear force. Allowable is the maximum shear force capacity according to the selected code. We can also see the horizontal reinforcement. Below that, we can see the equilibrium check. We will now create a drawing of the wall section with vertical reinforcement. Select Draw, define a new drawing, and add a wall section with vertical reinforcement. Select the wall and position the drawing on the page layout. We can see the distributed reinforcement and the concentrated reinforcement that is bonded by links to discriminate it from the distributed reinforcement. Let's go back to the model and display all of the elements in the first floor of our model. We will compute again and focus on wall number three. By looking at the design unit local axis, we can see four moment design units. One for every wall segment. Unlike wall number two, with just one moment design unit. Now let's see wall number three detailed results. On the right side, we can see the wall section with the design unit numbering. Below, we can see the detailed results for every design unit. Let's add wall number three drawing to our layout. We can see the vertical reinforcement. The program placed two bars of 12 millimeters at both sides of the opening. Wall drawing parameters can be reviewed or revised in wall defaults. In the tab Wall Drawing, the user can revise parameters for the distributed reinforcement, for the concentrated reinforcement, and the diameter of bars near an opening. The Wall Specify Reinforcement options was revised as well. The user can now specify the concentrated reinforcement, the diameter, the quantity, and the measurement L, which is the length between the first and last bar of the concentrated reinforcement. Apply these parameters to both ends of a wall segment or the positive or negative side relative to the global axis. For the distributed reinforcement, the user may set the diameter and spacing. To reset these parameters, the user must check Compute, 
for the relevant parameters. For this example, we will specify the segment's concentrated reinforcement of the two interior wall segments. We will set the diameter to 20 millimeters. Quantity will be 8. L will be equal to 45 centimeters and apply to both ends. Select both segments and compute. In the wall result summary table, we can see a hashtag for segments 4 and 5. This indicates specified reinforcement. Also, the table wall specify will display the specified reinforcement. The wall drawing is also updated according to our reinforcement specification. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.